Hi, it's Luang from Wutech and today I'm going to show you my experiment with the uh, Raspberry Pi 2040 with OLED screen and two uh, temperature humidity sensor. This is the SDH31. I have two of them connected to the um, I square C zero uh, of the of the uh, RP twenty forty. This is the zero version, which is a little bit smaller than the Pico version. Like you can see here, this is this is the size of the Raspberry Pi Pico version compared to the zero uh, RP twenty forty. I'm choosing this because this is a smaller size and it's easier for small application like the one I want here. Uh, my circuit is very simple. It just need to connect the uh, RP2040 with the OLED screen and the two sensors. I can I choose each of them. Um, I found one is uh, indoor and the other is outdoor. It gives you the temperatures and the uh, the percentage of the humidity. Um, I plan to use this for one indoor and one outdoor. That's why I have this experience. And um, you're going to see the code right now. I'm going to show you. Let's check on it. First of all, let's look at the connection circuit right here. I, I said it's very simple circuit. I have two SD31D from Adafruit that connected to the Raspberry Pi. Uh, 2040 and also I connect the OLED screen it is SSD 1306 um, they all connect by the I swear C's but if you uh, have not it yet um, in this one I'm not going to explain deeply in the basic because I assume that you already do something with electronic I should talk about what experiment I have here um, there are two things I want to test here. First is like two um, humidity sensors working together. It's the one thing. The other is multiple I square C device connected to the same um, microcontroller. Here is the RP2040. Um, it's a super cheap uh, microcontroller that you can find on, a, on AliExpress or whatever site from China. Uh, I like it because it is small. It fit my project here. Um, if you look at the pin out of them, you can see that they have two I square C. So far, I see it. Yeah, two I square C, and you can connect to any pin as long as you declare it. In this case, I connect the first two humidity sensor to the I square C zero, like you can see here. It's a GPO. Um, GB0 and GP1 is two here. Then I connect the OLED screen to the I square C2 in the pin 14 and 15, like you can see here. Okay, and uh, the, the other part is connected to the power supply, like you can see here. I use the 3.3 voltage. Um, one notification here is that um, since you two. Um, I square C sensor in the same bus, which is here. Uh, I square C zero. You need to de connect the address of one of them to the um, to the high voltage one, because it, it, that give them two different addresses. This one is zero point four um, O X forty four, and this one is O X forty five. If you want to connect two sensor in the same bus, it's gonna be like that. Um, and this one, you don't need to declare the address because it's only the cell into this. So that is all about the circuit. This is that, as simple as that. Now let's look at the code. Um, I have here is that you for this this one works at the Raspberry Pi code. So if you if you restart it and and you start with honey and you want to reset it, you put on boot button and you want to flash or whatever. Um, one thing to code, you have to choose the micro Python and then you can choose. I can choose Raspberry Pico and it works as Raspberry Pico, so that's the part. And then you need to import the pin and the I square C library to, to work as well as the SAT0. Um, sorry, SAT1306 is for this OLED screen to work. 
and um, you need to also import the ST31 library of these two to work together. I download those um, from uh, from some GitHub. I I not show the link in the description. So with the OLED, there's a, this is an extra part that I found that like is with the normal OLED screen library here, you have only the fonts of x by uh, eight by eight, which is too small for the screen to to show. Um, to see, so um, that's why I I wanted to use a bigger uh, text, and um, that is given by the OLED by this OLED uh, library is extra. So here with the sensor one, we connected to I two C zero, right? I, like I said, connect to pin zero and pin one um, with the frequency, and that's right. This oh, this forty four, like you see here. The same thing with the second one, we connect to the same as well as sensor, the same object here, okay? Um, but yeah, as we said, and the, the difference is the address. Then, the OLED, you will connect it to I square C1 here with SAP 14 and 15. That is done, and then you define OLED object with this setting. It's the 128 and 64. There's also another choice for 128 and 32, which is the longer one that I'm about to try later. Then you have the place to set the font for it because you use the OLED um, library. So I want to put the message in or out of but actually you don't need it anymore because here I changed the message to this one. So let's say don't uh, comment it. You can just comment it because this is for another test. But anyway, and then you can define this. You can read the data from each sensor by this um, get them community. It's from the SHT thirty one library, and uh, you can read the two um, two information of each of them: temperatures and humidity. Then uh, the, the first two. In the header that I wrote on the top, if you want, you can check on this one here. This is the two letter indoor and outdoor um, that I put in, in here. Okay, it's indoor and outdoor with the setting. It will, with the font uh, is U2 Mono 15. I want to make it bigger, but I don't have enough space because I want to show all the information in here for you to see. This is temperatures and this is the humidity. And then here you can um, you can see the for uh, the, the indoor outdoor is already set, but you can see the content that I printed the temperature humidity with the with the pixel position. This you need to check on the library of the OLED and the SAT thirteen zero C to understand it is just row and column where you put the uh, the characters and then you show the OLED and then you can sleep. Uh, I, I put it sleep 20 seconds so that it doesn't blink so much when we're looking at it. But for example, if I put it to, let's say, 2 only, see how much it's going to blink. Run it right now. Oh. Yeah, it's faster now. Okay, it did 2 seconds. If we change every 2 seconds, it's going to increase the data every 2 seconds. So yeah, as simple as that, you can connect the humidity sensor and and the OLED screen to onto the I square C uh, buses of the RP twenty forty zero. I hope it helped you to have more options when you need to choose a microcontroller for your project. I love this one because they are su super small and it cheaper, it's half price of the Raspberry Pico, and you get what you need for small project like this. If you like my video, please subscribe to my channel and we can see in the next one. Happy coding.